two figures are similar if they have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. More specifically, all of the corresponding sides between the two similar shapes are proportional and all of the corresponding angles are congruent. For example, most rectangular television screens are similar, since they have a 4 to 3 aspect ratio. That means that conventional television screens are produced so that the length is 4 third times the width. The diagonal length of the television screen is often the reported number in advertisements. Using the 4 to 3 aspect ratio, a television screen that has a 40 inch diagonal will have dimensions of 32 by 24 inches. Similarity is commonly used in scale models of similar shapes. Let's see the following similar squares. The lengths of the larger square are three times longer than the smaller square. The length scale factor of these two similar shapes is 3. The area of the smaller square is 9 square centimeters. The area of the larger square is 81 square centimeters. The area of the larger square is 9 times larger than the area of the smaller square. The area scale factor of these two similar shapes is 9. This is the length scale factor squared. Let's see now the following similar cubes. The lengths of the larger square are 4 times longer than the smaller square. The length scale factor is 4. The volume of the smaller cube is 8 cubed centimeters. The volume of the larger cube is 512 cubed centimeters. The volume scale factor of these two similar shapes is 64. This is the length scale factor cubed. Let's solve a problem now. Below we have two similar parallelograms. What is the length of CD? Which is the similarity ratio of EFGH to ABCD? 3 by 7. What is the size of E? E is 110 degrees because the two parallelograms are similar. Let's see a real-life example now. Within the orientation program The Treasures of Mountains, there are activities that take place over three days. Teams of students participate in these activities which, with the help of modern orientation methods, can put their courage, attention, quick decision-making and orientation to the test. On the first day, teams of four students each are formed and the rules of the contest are set. On the second day, the teams move to a nearby area to better recognize plants, trees, cardinal points and other helpful signs of orientation. On the third day, the contest takes place. We are on the third day and the team The Alpinists has a program which includes moving from the camp to a nearby mountain and finding its height passing through the forest which is in between the mountain and the camp. They also know that at the forest's beginning there is a tallest tree which has 30 meters of height. If they have a measuring tape, a compass, a notepad and a pen, how will they find the height of the mountain? We first find the point O that is collinear with the treetop C and the mountain top M. Two members of the team measure the distance from the tree to the mountain and the other two the distance from the tree to the point O. They write the following in the notepad. They then calculate OB and they want to find the MB height of the mountain as fast as possible. From and we apply the fundamental theorem of similarity in the OMB triangle because According to this theorem, the triangles OCA and OMB are similar and for the similarity report we get 